Hello again. <laughs> if you can't tell by the glasses I'm wearing, today I'm gonna talk about dilation. If you've ever gotten to wear these super fancy glasses, it's probably because your eye doctor used a drop like this one with a red top. These are dilation drops. And most people don't really like to be dilated all that much but it is a very, very important part of our eye exam. I personally recommend dilation for every patient every single year. So some of the frequently asked questions about dilation, um, most people are concerned about their vision when they're dilated. I can assure you that for most patients, vision at distance does not change from being dilated. What dilation is doing is relaxing your accommodative muscles it's relaxing the muscles in the iris so that your pupil opens up. It's just like opening the window so that we can see all the structures in the back of the eye. The side effect for you, however, is that your focusing system will be temporarily out of commission. For most patients, that's gonna affect them up close only. So you'll notice for about four to six hours, it's just difficult to see up close for reading and computer. However, if you are farsighted and your focusing system tends to over-engage, even for your distance vision, it is possible to have your prescription kind of come out a little bit when you're dilated. There are patients who have difficulty seeing at a distance when they're dilated, but for the most part, most patients are able to drive themselves. If you don't feel comfortable, we always understand that and we recommend that you bring a driver. We also offer in our clinic the opportunity to come back and get dilated a different day when you can bring a driver, a friend, a family member, someone to help you home. So other than being fuzzy up close for about four to six hours, there are some other side effects of being dilated. You will notice that you're much more light sensitive than normal. Now, on a rainy day, that doesn't present such an issue, but here in the South, in North Carolina, where it has been in the 100 degree range over the last week, um, we can have some really sunny days. And so when we do dilate that pupil and it just stays large, unfortunately it can't do its physiological duty anymore. Your pupil is made to get smaller in bright light, limiting the amount of light to your retina, and larger in dim light. So when we artificially make your pupil large for four to six hours and you walk out into the bright sunshine, it's really important that you take the dilation glasses that your doctor offers you. Now, dilation can affect some patients more than others. I've personally found that if you're very light eyed, whether that's green or blue, dilation tends to affect you maybe a little bit on the longer side. If you have very dark irises, dark brown for instance, it tends to not affect you quite as long. Your dilation should go away if standard um, dilation drops are used within about four to six hours. There are instances where we use stronger dilation drops and your doctor will likely tell you that they're doing that and let you know that your dilation's expected to last closer to 12 or 24 or longer hours. One other frequently asked question about dilation is can I put my contact lenses back in afterward? So there is no problem with putting your contacts in after you've been dilated as long as you just wait at least 10 minutes or so. The drops, you just don't want the drops to soak into your contact lenses and then each and every time you put the lenses in, you get dilated again. That is not a good day. So I have a couple of tips for next time you get dilated. Um, I'm being a little bit facetious, but I also mean it. If you're unsure of how dilation will affect you, bring a DD, that's a dilation driver, to take you home afterward. The other thing I want to encourage you to do, don't turn down these awesome dilation glasses. You may say, no, I feel fine, it's going to be okay, but you just don't know how many times I've offered dilation glasses and someone says no and they hit the parking lot and you can just tell that they're suffering. 
So it's really important. Don't turn these things down and bring a driver if you feel like you need one. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you have questions about dilation, make sure to leave them below. I know nobody likes it, but it's a very necessary part of your exam. Make sure to tune in every Wednesday at four o'clock and we will see you next time.